Let's now take a look at this massive scrap album started in the early 1930s by a young woman named Doris Monks who attended uh, this particular Russell Sage College in Troy, New York. In fact, this here is Doris Monks. Here she is in the 30s. She'll appear uh, in other photographs within the album. This card was addressed to her on her birthday here. Uh, and here's the envelope it came in. So we know she was, her birthday probably was sometime in early January. And uh, this album is her college scrapbook uh, that is just uh, stuffed with, well, starts off freshman year. And here is a map of the campus. And here is a note to her from Helen Scott. Here are more photographs of her. I believe that's her right there in her fur coat, her very nice fur coat. And here are some more photographs. And here are other notes to her, letters written to her. Some, often the letter is still inside like this. I have not actually taken every last one out. Uh, so that would be for the next owner perhaps to uh, do if they have the time and interest. But we'll just now flip through this to show you Dartmouth versus Yale game here, 1931. Western uh, telegrams that were sent to her. Here is a uh, box and candle event. Oh, look. Look, there she is in the newspaper. Oh, my goodness. Tell, saying, oh, she's come home. She uh, evidently, uh, yeah, was yeah, quite a little socialite. And oh, here's a little pamphlety uh, photographic folder here. And okay, things that meant something to her. Look at all this. Here she is. Uh, there's a picture of her again returning home for the holidays. Can you imagine the local newspaper saying, uh, you're coming home. Hey, you're going to be home for a few days or weeks. <laughs> look at this. Okay. And look, birthday cards to her. Yeah, that's great. Look at all these letters and, oh my goodness, look at all this. Hmm. Wow, people had their names at the top of their stationery at this time, handwritten. I'll just leave that right there. Fee claimed at Troy, all these letters addressed to her. Wow, a lot of letters there. Okay. And here is an advertising directory. She signed it right there. There's her signature. Okay. Oh, look, this must be her. Oh, look, Paderewski, world-famous uh, pianist, did a recital at the music hall at the college. A lover's meeting. Look at this. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> very funny. Uh, very nice, actually. Look at all these photographs here. Oh, that must be her beau or her male friend. Oh, there she is there. Look at these, lovely. Here's another Western Union telegram. Nice little envelope there with the telegram still inside of it. Birthday greetings from Helen and Bill. Happy birthday. Huh. Look at that little handwritten note to her. Jeez. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, my goodness. Look at these great photos right here. Yeah. There we are. There she is. Look at this. Hmm. Travel. Look at this. Oh, Northampton. The Wiggins Tavern in Northampton, Mass. That's very interesting. I've actually been there numerous times. Huh. Little drawing in there. Best wishes. Little from a florist. How to behave. Oh, she went into the hospital. Maybe. There we are. Get well funnies. Postcards. Nice telegram. Uh, here we are. You've got looks and style. Look at this great card. Look at this Valentine with that reflective. That's that's great stuff. Yeah. This is why ephemera is so interesting. Oh, look, here's some postcards. You just never know. Look at that photograph. That's a great photo right there. Oh, boy. Young men. There they all are gathered. Oh, yes. Looks like she's in a sorority. Alpha Tau Omega. 
Yeah, Russell Sage. Everybody comfy. Huh. Huh. English order of plays. <laughs> oh my god. Hmm. Interesting. A lot of this ephemera is uh, related to Troy, New York. So if you are from that area or you went to this college or you happen to have in any way be related to this woman, this is a unique one of a kind sort of a find here. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. Look at these. That's really a beautiful card. Very nice card there. Mickey Mouse. Look at that. That's Wow, that's pretty early for Mickey Mouse, I should think. In the early 30s like that. There's 1934, probably. A drawing here from 1935. Well, that's interesting. Huh. Handwriting. Oh, look at this. Ha, ha, ha. Handwriting chart. Special delivery letter. Doors. Infirmary by the sea. Oh, no. <laughs> D monks. Oh, look. Ha <laughs> ha, little penance. Doris, that's where she stayed right there. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, interesting. I think we're coming modernized Hotel Troy like this. Little booklet here. I think that we are, well, no, there's still a few more. Uh, evidently, this must be somebody she knew. Here's. There she is. Oh, she's the daughter of Dr. and Mrs. Leon Monks. She's remember, now she's going to graduate here. Wow. There we are, graduation cards. Huh. There she is again in the newspaper, all about her. Yes, it would be pretty easy to do some genealogical research. Uh, and here she is, look, at graduation. Oh, there she is. That must be her and probably her. One of her, well, it looks like her mother, probably. And yeah, there we are. Graduation day exercises. A little card here. And I think that brings us to the end of the scraps. Yes, indeed. This scrapbook actually came from Ru a, a little a sticker here. Russell Sage College, Troy. Uh, that must be where it was bought from. And so, there you have seen the college scrapbook uh, of Doris Monks. And it is available now online from me. Brian DeMambro.